Good morning. Welcome to Level 2.5. Oh, oh the, Level 2.5. The new normal. Who's sick of hearing the new normal? We are. But uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Now, Michelle, uh, cases, they're still climbing. Uh, is it too soon to go out of lockdown? Well, it's too late now, obviously. But, uh, but what, are you, what are your thoughts? Look, we're going with a different strategy now. Our last strategy was elimination. Now it's almost learning to live with a virus that we hope we know um, where it is and sort of who's going to be affected. So, yeah, it's new times for us. And so it's probably, you know, businesses need to open. So this is the time to help the economy. And it's time for us all to be careful. And it's time to remember that just because the levels have changed doesn't mean you need to go out and party. Okay, all right. Hold on. I just want to party, mate. (laughs) You've just been holding back my partying for months. (laughs) Michelle, uh, masks, they're obviously uh, mandatory on public transport. Should we be wearing masks in the office? Should kids be wearing them to school? Radi, radi, ra. Look, kids shouldn't be wearing them to school. The, the evidence is, is looking at kids in masks, and it shows that children under the age of 10 don't transmit the virus, it seems, as well as children over the age of 10. So it seems like our children are lower risk. Um, when it comes to the office, like I run a business, I've asked my employees to stay at home if they can. We do have a work-from-home policy, and I've gone into the office yesterday, and I've moved all of the desks two metres apart from each other. So I think employers can do things to help change um, what's going on in their workplace. Hey, have um, you committed a crime? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> do you need a- I, live, I live next door to a fire station. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> You're not in hiding right now? Okay. <laughs> we can be a, a, an alibi <laughs> yeah. if you need us to be Michelle. I was talking to John O'Bean on the hits. <laughs> Uh, no, so, you know when all the fires are in Auckland because they literally go past my house every day. So you would say those that don't need to go into work stay at home? If you can stay at home or work from home, please do because mm. just because the levels have increased doesn't mean that we need to go all outside straight away at the same time. Obviously, the virus spreads because people move around. So the more we move around, the more we go to offices and then mingle with people outside of our bubble, the more likely it is that this cluster will grow. So just because the levels have changed, it doesn't mean your behaviour has to change. Obviously, kids are going back to school. That's one big change that is happening. Yeah. But lots of people that I know who run businesses who can, you know, we run a tech business, so our employees can stay at home. Actually, our employees are staying at home. So if you can do that, my advice is just we don't need to all go outside today. Try and stay at home if you can. I guess it's a bit confusing for us non-science people because you, uh, on one one minute you're saying, oh, well, the Prime Minister's saying no more than 10 in the gathering in Auckland, which I understand, but then you're sending your kids to school, which have got maybe 30 in a class, uh, your hundreds running around the playground. I mean, it just seems a bit weird. Yeah, and schools have been really good, actually. You probably won't get hundreds of running around in the playground or assemblies right now. Schools are actually putting in some processes in place so that the gatherings at schools are still quite small. And again, remember, children we've seen with the transmission of the virus are very different to adults. So 100 adults in a room is a very different scenario to how the virus spreads compared to 100 children. And so that's why. And again, we're balancing up long-term education, long-term mental health for our kids, as well as control of this virus and and you can't do both well and so we're trying to live in this middle land right now uh so is, is it a bit of a contradiction in terms of like hey we can't have a gathering of uh, 10 or more people but then we go into an office with say 20 or 30 people yeah so it's challenging right so the office space i mean they're being asked to space people apart at least one meter distance and encouraged to work from home if possible so i'm hoping that those who can work from home and offices that don't need their staff inside will keep their staff at home. And, and mm. so just because the rules have changed, hopefully behaviour isn't going to change significantly. But we'll have to see. And I think this cluster is going to get bigger before it gets smaller, sadly. Uh, now, the hot desks. Remember, hot desks are all the rage around <laughs> offices. Everyone just grab a desk. It's chill, bro. <laughs> what do you think about hot desks now, Michelle? <laughs> Yeah, look, hot desks are fine as long as you clean up after yourself. So if you are on a hot desk, just bring some spray and wipe or have some around and wipe down your desk after you leave it. Um, hot desks don't mean that you have three people sitting at them at the same time. Just make sure that um, when you are done with it, just give it a bit of a wipe down. we got Dr. Michelle Dickinson, Nano Girl, with us. You got a shout out from the Prime Minister I saw when she was demonstrating how to uh, wear a mask, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's this weird life that I live as a nerdy scientist, suddenly <laughs> getting shout out from the PM. No, it's it was cool. I've got a question though regarding masks because I've seen some online and then I've seen ones with filters as well. You know, you put a filter inside and you change your filter. I mean, uh, is that necessary to have a filter inside a mask or is any sort of uh, covering for the face and, uh, and nose going to be okay? Look, any covering is going to be okay. The, the recommendation is that you, if you're using a covering, it's got at least two folds 
So two layers of fabric. So if you've got a bit of cotton, fold it over twice. If you're wearing a scarf, fold it over twice. Um, the filters are great, but you don't need them. My advice has always been you don't need to spend a lot of money. You can just use an old T-shirt. You can use a bandana. You can use anything that just stops when you cough these respiratory droplets from coming out of your mouth. I so saw, any covering will do. I saw that if you can blow out a candle uh, from behind whatever you're wearing, then it's not that good. But if you can't blow out a candle... Uh, then it's it's giving you enough cover. Would that be a scientific thing or have I just sort of uh, been uh, duped by the internet? (laughs) Well, the internet has made some really beautiful things. The blowing (laughs) out the candle thing proves that you can't create turbulent flow. (laughs) It doesn't show that you can't um, release droplets. Now, Michelle, I did notice yesterday I went out and about and there were some people not in masks and you can tell they were quite self-conscious about it because the majority of people are wearing masks. So it's your message, everyone, get a mask. Everyone get a mask in a public space. Yeah. Just don't, you know, you've got people you don't know around you, don't know what their situation is. They might have to go out even if they're immune compromised. Don't put them at risk. Just wear a mask. It's easy. It's simple. You don't have to do it all day. You can not wear one at home. But if you're out in a space where you might actually be harming other people without realizing it, just wear a mask. Okay. It's, it's great for avoiding people who uh, you'd <laughs> yeah. usually have to talk to as well. Yeah, it's the benefits, right? Outside of health benefits. Do you think this Apparently. is going to be, I know I'm going to say, the new normal, but do you think the masks are going to be uh, like the thing we're going to have to live with in our lives? I hope so. The reason why I hope so is because actually it's going to stop a whole bunch of other viruses and bacteria transmitting, which is going to keep people safe. We know how many people die of the flu every year, for example, and we haven't really taken that seriously. So mask wearing when you are sick or symptomatic, I think is really going to help the whole population from lots of things. Final question um, from me. Um, so I'm, wear- I'm wearing a mask. I've got my ca- takeaway coffee. I bought it contactless. What happens then? Do I- I'm allowed to quickly whip down the mask to have a sip and then put it back up? I mean, how's that work? You are, but make sure that you're not in an area with lots of people. So this is going to be solitary coffee drinking time, I'm okay. afraid. So, okay. yeah, I find see. your own space. Uh, well, uh, D- Dr. Michelle Dickinson, we always appreciate your time. Uh, it's give us so much insight on what's going on. So thank you so much. No worries. See you later.